Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a daily quest guide. In this guide, I'm going to be going over all the daily quests I do, where to find them, which ones you should do, which ones you shouldn't do, and which ones I think are the most efficient for the time spent. The first planet you're going to want to head to is Ilum. There's five daily quests that I do on Ilum, and you have to unlock them by doing the quest chains on Ilum. Uh, the first one is this bounty hunter right here. You just go talk to these people. I just press 1 in spacebar through all of these cutscenes. I haven't found any negative companion effects by doing that. All the companions that I've tried this out with have had plus rep, like plus affection. So I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, they just save some time. It's the same conversation over and over and over again. But I pick up these three quests in here. You do have to unlock these quests by doing the quest chains on Ilum. So if you're a little bit bummed out about that, you shouldn't be. Because the quest chains give you a ton of credits. They give you lots of items that you can just vendor. And uh, they're pretty cool too. So I recommend unlocking these dailies for sure. There's three at the main Imperial Station, the one that you land at. And the next two that you can find are at the Imperial Way Station. These dailies on Ilum take a little bit of time. They take more time than the Corellia and the Bell Savis dailies. But I still recommend you do them. They give about 10,000 credits per quest. Uh, plus, there's a lot of scavenging items. I'm a scavenger, and that's one thing that I can uh, I can definitely tell you that if you're a scavenger, these dailies are awesome. All three of these planets, there's tons of things to scavenge. There's a lot of droids. A lot of the quests that you're doing involve killing droids and killing mobs that are in areas of where there's just a ton of scavenging materials. All of these daily quests that I'm showing you are really easy to do. They're the standard gather quests, kill quests. Uh, the, the quests that we've all become accustomed to, kill Republic, Jedi bitches, uh, get mining equipment, blow up mining equipment, disable towers, really easy stuff. The map shows you exactly where to go. There's nothing too complicated. This was the only complicated thing I found. Uh, you have to blow up one of these mining equipment things, and it wasn't obvious what it looked like. That's what they look like, so when you do that, the Republic guys come down. You gotta kill them. They're really easy to kill. But all these daily quests, really easy. That was the only thing that kind of threw me for a loop, because... That little tiny console was kind of small. It didn't really glow and show too much. So I was running around for a little bit trying to figure out what those looked like. But uh, that should save you some time. Once you finish those dailies, it's time to head to Bell Savis. You have to unlock the Bell Savis dailies by doing a small quest chain. I found that the quest chain started at Agent Brandis. I'm not sure if that's this is exactly where it starts. But I, did, I, I didn't spend too much time in Bell Savis. So it makes me think that this quest becomes available at level 50. You talk to Agent Brandis. And he gives you the quest to go do some other stuff, and that will unlock the dailies. Once you're on Bill Savis, take the speeder to the Imperial Domination Outpost. This you may not have unlocked yet, but if you don't, just go drive over there and unlock it. And take the speeder there, and then you'll find two more dailies. Once you're there, you're going to find two NPCs. One's a droid, and one's a humanoid. You also may find some other quests that you haven't done if you didn't quest too much in Bill Savis. I recommend you go ahead and do those normal quests, just because they give you really good rewards. And generally, normal quests give you more rewards than daily quests do, so go ahead and do them. If you have any high-level quests on any planet, uh, Corellia, Ilum, Bel Savis, any of those planets, go ahead and do them if you need some money, because they give you a lot of rewards. They usually give you some armor that you can vendor, so I definitely recommend doing them. Once you've done those dailies, you're going to want to head to the Southern Rakata Transporter, and this is where you're going to have to have done that quest chain, because in order to use this transporter, you're going to have to have done it, or you just can't travel to the point you need to travel to. So you're going to use this transporter and travel up to the deep launch point transport up at the northernmost point of the map, and this is a daily quest hub. There's a bunch of daily quests in this little part of the map on Bill Savis, so I'm going to speed this up and show you guys where they all are. There's three in this room. That's pretty obvious, so I'm going to skip this, hit spacebar, and one through all this crap. It doesn't affect your companions at all. I've noticed that uh, it actually gives you positive rep for all the quests that I've turned in thus far, so... Just hit one in space bar through this crap, and uh, I'm going to show you guys the route I take to get to the other daily quests. There's two daily quests up here. One's a solo quest, and one's a group quest. I don't bother with doing the group daily quests just because I don't feel like they're worth my time. But then again, I don't really have any friends that do dailies every day, and I just don't feel like waiting around trying to find someone, so I usually just skip them. Uh, but if you have some friends that enjoy doing dailies or need to do dailies, then go ahead and knock out the group ones too because they give you rewards and... Uh, you have more dailies to do each day, so why not? Once you finished up Bel Savis, it's time to go back to the fleet. If you haven't already done this, what you need to do is go to the fleet and look for this little droid. He's on the inner circle of the fleet. I'm not sure if everyone gets their quest from this guy or not, but uh, it's the same guy that gave you the Ilum quest. So go back to whoever gave you the Ilum quest, and he'll give you the Fall of Corellia quest that'll tell you to go to Corellia and help out the effort, blah, blah, blah. 
So you're going to want to take your ship, go to Karelia. Once you get there, you want to go through the space station. And once you get out, take a right, and you're going to see a walker. And you're going to hop in the back of this walker. There should be a, a back door that's lit up for, uh, for you to just right-click and jump into. You're going to get a loading screen, and you'll be loading into the black hole daily zone. Once you're there, you're going to want to take a right and go right into this little garage thing. And here's where you're going to find all your daily quests. Just take the elevator up. And there's going to be a little mission terminal box that has, I believe, four or five dailies. And there's also a little group of people over to the left that have the group quest that I already have. I've already picked that up. Again, I'm not messing with the group quest just because they take a long time. They don't really give you that much of a reward, a reward in my opinion. But there's actually a little bit of incentive to do the the uh, the group quest because there's a weekly, uh, a weekly daily quest. Uh, I guess it's just a weekly quest. But uh, you do all the dailies and then that counts as your weekly and you get more rewards. So you want to do the group quest at least once a week. And these quests are really, really easy on Corellia. These are the best and most efficient dailies in the entire game. Uh, the, you can do all the Corellia dailies in less than 20 minutes, and it's like uh, 70,000 credits, not even counting what you pick up through scavenging and all that stuff. And this is an example of one of the really, really easy Corellia dailies. All you do is... Use this item on uh, on crowds of people, and you're trying to find the spy. You don't even have to kill the spy. You just have to find it. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be, but it's really easy. And that's it. You just have to tag three spies, and I'm going to finish this quest up right here in probably less than 20 seconds. Easiest daily quest ever. Also on Corellia, there's a daily quest vendor. Every time you do a daily quest, you get a daily quest accommodation. You can turn in these accommodations for legacy gear, relics... Uh, earpieces, implants, and there's actually two mounts. So let's say you're not a big fan of daily quests and you don't need the money, there's still incentive to do them. You can get, you can pick up two mounts, pick up some gear, pick up some legacy gear, just further rewarding people for doing them and, and getting people to do them. So I like that because I, I know that uh, dailies are kind of lame and it's kind of cool to have a reward to, to work for. The mounts do take a little bit of time to get and so do the trinkets, but I think that's how it should be. Now to answer the question you've all been asking, how much did I make by doing all these dailies? Well, I made 216k just off the credit rewards from the daily quest, the actual turning in the quest, and by selling the trash items. You make a lot of money by selling those trash items that drop off of each droid, each uh, each guy. All those gray items and all those white items and all those green useless pieces of armor, they add up. Some of those you can sell for 4k, 5k a pop. So I made 216k just off the credit rewards and the trash mobs. Also, I looted 25 scavenging nodes. Every time I killed a droid that I could scavenge, I scavenged it. Every time I saw something I could scavenge, I would scavenge it. So I looted about 25 nodes just by doing all these dailies, and these dailies are in a very good spot for professions. I'm sure with any profession you have, it's probably going to be very lucrative in these daily zones. So approximately, I made 275k to 300k, depending on how much the scavenging stuff I sold goes for on the AH. But... Really good, really worth your time. You spend about an hour to an hour and a half doing all these dailies. I usually just do them in between my war zones while I'm waiting for a war zone queue. That's how I do it, and uh, that's how I recommend you guys do it. And that'll wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it puts a little bit more credits in your pocket. That's it for now. See you next time.